Welcome to Wood Orientarium. Welcome to Expo number seven. because actually Aidemia in Łódź is a sponsor, a, a caretaker of two red pandas that live in Łódź Zoo and that's why we've gathered here as, as each year to celebrate our lectures, our presentations, our products and in order to meet together in person for the seventh time. Today I had a presentation about the future of reactive programming in Java. JDK 19 was released just two days ago and introduced a very interesting features. One of the, the features is virtual thread, which can have a big impact on the usefulness of the reactive programming. Hello, my name is Sebastian and my talk was about cybersecurity failures of last year, yeah. so reasons why they happened and what to do to not let them happen again. Look for Jays, Spring and Psychic Signatures among many, many vulnerabilities I could choose. Bartek, do you know what are the differences between Expo number one and Expo number seven? Actually, I do. You know, Expo number one was held in 2015. At that point of time, we had only five guests coming from Kobyłka. It's a city close to Warsaw where we have our Perso Center. At that time, I do remember we had only 80 employees. Right now, we have more than 320. We represent the company which is making card personalization in Poland. What we do once we are receiving cards from our factory, we put the data on the card, depending on the request of the customer in different forms, sometimes in a very funny packaging like this, for example. For the cards which are very modern, we offer fingerprint sensor card and frozen motion code with the changing CDC. We would like to invite everybody from Woods to come and visit Kobyłka and then Mirek can share more information. This is the Fab Lab stand in our IDMA office. We have two uh, Prusa printers here, uh, FDM uh, printers, so they use by, uh, they are working by deposit the melted uh, plastic, basically. Here we have the 3D scanner. Uh, for example, uh, we scan this little rubber duck, and those are the copies of the same duck. Uh, printed on one of the Prusa machines. We will have still uh, one more thing. There is a VR station in which uh, we will try to create some kind of uh, 3D model. Okay, so this year uh, Payments decided to go into the metaverse. So we are presenting actually the concept which is slowly spreading to the world of uh, building up the virtual reality around the world. So we are using Oculus to show actually our Xcode presentation. And we are also talking a lot about uh, what's happening in the matter in terms of payments. We are showcasing some innovation IDMIA is working on. So we are showcasing demo uh, from biometric checkout to uh, CBDC acceptance at the point of sales. Also how we can help um, merchant and consumer to enhance checkout experience with new buy button to really uh, decrease uh, uh, the issues at checkout uh, without uh, entering manually your card details several times. So far the number of the stands were the same, 11, 12 stands, but there was no presentation. In terms of guests, as you know, this year we, we visited more than 120 guests from different countries. We actually counted it, it's more than 11 countries. Romania, France, US, Singapore, UK, Morocco, Germany, Japan. So this is our Cloud at Edimia booth, um, where people can come and learn about best practices on cloud, what uh, services are already available for our major cloud providers, uh, teams that are here to help them both sell to customers and uh, technical enablement, as well as um, best practices and other learnings. So to summarize, we just try to prepare people to cloud era. So, uh, you've probably seen that I'm uh, now representing the Smart Connect IoT solutions. Uh, so, basically, uh, we are now promoting Smart Connect Manager together with the Smart Connect M2M. And uh, as you can uh, see it over there, we have Fiber Track. Of course, it was printed in our Fab Lab, uh, where we are presenting the live, real, uh, profile exchange, remote profile exchange, not only with the M2M, but also with the usage of the new, brand new 
a specification called WG7 from the GSMA. So this is what we were working for the last year uh, and I think that the effects are great. We have the stand experience easy because you know the easy monthly era is coming, is approaching with iPhone 14. So we are on the Capture SDK stand and we are presenting Capturing Edge technology uh, connected with uh, liveness detection on finger and face. And we also have some gadgets like masks, silicone masks and paper masks. Uh, so people can try to spoof our algorithms. But I think no one, no one did it so far. So I think, yeah, yeah. So, so far, so good. So my presentation uh, was about uh, 5G and so what are the key features, what are the key requirements, where we can use 5G and what it will bring to our world. So in this year, as you can see, Killless finally got the car that is uh, with the lights uh, and we have for the generation 3 the ECU from customer. So we will show how to put your key from the phone into the vehicle. Hello, my name is Alan Szybecki. I work in payments department. We have a strong proposition of QA code payments and we have two solutions. One is uh, merchant presenter mode when the customer scanning the code and secondly is the customer presenter mode when the customer show the QR code and when we can receive. Hello, I'm Jakob. Uh, I had the privilege to speak today at Expo organized by Demia. So thanks for having me. My topic for today was uh, legacy system. That's, uh, I would say, one of my wheelhouses. I'm fond of legacy systems. I tried to share some insights about those systems today. I hope you enjoy that and I hope you enjoy the after party. If you sum up in one sentence, the biggest, the largest, the most interesting, the most inspiring, with the best presenters ever. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you did enjoy and don't forget, we have some after party later. Thank you. Thank you. See you next year.